Rain in the Northern Valley has put the harvest on hold for farmers on this Labor Day 2017, a day set aside to celebrate the American worker. But I sat down with Steve Hanna of Fisher, Minnesota to look back at harvest films taken in the 1940s and 50s on their family farm. The experience revealed that while things change over the years, they also stay the same. Yes, uh, my grandfather Arthur Edgerbrotten from Fisher, um, I think probably about 1947-48, got a Kodak of okay. uh, film camera, and then around 48-49 my father did, and so both of them recorded a lot of uh, agriculture and they were both farming. Essentials of how these machines operate has not changed. Yeah. Um, you know, they're coming up with different technologies as far as separating the grain uh, to a certain degree, but still the machine is basically the same design as they came up with many years ago. And as Hannah points out, it's nice to know the kindness and compassion of American workers remains on this Labor Day 2017. If somebody's in, in a predicament, if someone's hospitalized or someone should happen to pass on, the neighbors are going to get together and harvest their crop. Um, that might be a little bit more challenging now because a farm of 5,000 acres yeah. is, yeah. but if you get 10 or 15 neighbors together, the job still gets done and it'll happen and we see it all the time and it's not something that anybody does because they're, it's just something that you do because mm -hmm. that's the way we are. Yeah. And uh, um, I've, I've been on those kind of harvesting brigades where we harvested an entire sugar beet crop in about eight hours. Yeah. and. Yeah, I, so the sense community is still there. All right. So maybe we'll leave it with that good thought on this Labor Day. <laughs> All right. All right, thanks for talking. Thank you, Neil.